Good afternoon, and thanks for this, watching this tutorial video. And in this video, we're going to show you guys how to correctly configure this uh, media controller. This is the Behringer BCT2000. We're going to configure this with AUTS AV, and we're going to kind of show you guys how to kind of work this and make it run. Uh, what you first need to do, uh, if you haven't done already, uh, download the OML file language off the Auts AV's website. A lot of this has come pre prepackaged when you get your software, but I always like to do it just in case it's not. Once you um, get it, go ahead and uh, install the the driver for this um, this uh, media media controller. Once you um, once you go ahead and get that taken care of, go ahead and click on the. I'm sorry, I'm on my camera phone, so hopefully this will work. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and click on Auts AV. I'm trying to like do this without... Uh, so. so once we get that loaded, it's going to load your library, obviously. Um, which is not loading for some reason. And that's fine. We'll just go ahead and hit no save. We're just going to load a just generic playlist um Arts AV. and i'm going to stop that right now um so all you need to go ahead and do you need to go into your options menu and go into your oml hardware you want to go ahead and uh enable controller that program started which i just 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 but we're gonna go reconnect that again, so we're gonna re-enable that. So you wanna go ahead and do that. I mean, you don't have to, but I always do it just in case. Um, you also want to go ahead and go to configure. So what we're gonna go ahead and do: uh, go to OML MIDI configure, and under the drop-down menus, you wanna go ahead and choose your input device, the BCD2000, and under the OML file, it's going to give you a drop down menu. You just want to choose the appropriate one that you want to do. Um, then hit close. And then um, go ahead and hit options again. Go back to your OML MIDI hardware controller, uh, hardware control in a, in, embedded. And once you do that, I always like to restart my software. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do that. So. We're just going to go ahead and restart it. Arts AV. Trying to look through my screen and do this. It's kind of hard. So I apologize. The screen's kind of jumping around. So now it should be enabled. So you can kind of see we actually have... Sorry, there's no li not a lot of light here. So you can actually kind of we'll hit play. And now you can actually have, get full control of this hardware unit. Um... If I want to go ahead and pull like a, another program up, another so song on here, I'll just do, uh, I don't know, my. Tw That's weird. Oh, there we are. Okay, now it wants to load up. I'm sorry. Just having some computer issues today. And we're just going to kind of put a, another. Um, we're just going to kind of throw another sawn up here in these. So we actually have a control. We have a sawn in deck A and we have a sawn in deck B. And we're actually going to kind of configure this. So I'll like, you can actually hit your play, which is right there. And you have complete control of this. So when you turn your volume down, which will go out to your master output, but you can actually. Um, Using your crossfader, it will actually also um, move it right there as well. For some reason, when I it's kind of weird though. So yeah, um, you can have complete control of that. So when you actually even um, enable your um, your mids and highs, it will actually. Um, Take those out and you can cut them. You can also um, do pitch control. 
and that will actually um, change right here as well. You can also do scratching, which is kind of weird. I don't really scratch, but just by holding that button. These buttons are loop. Uh, this particular version of, of Auth's AV does not support that. Um, but they're not a big deal. The newer version does. I don't have that yet, but you obviously you can hit play. You want to cue that back up. So that's really kind of overview of the BCD2000. Really great hardware unit. Um, again, my name is Jeff. If you have any questions, just holler at me. Just leave me a, a, a message or comments down there. Um, enjoy.